Hey everybody, we're taking a break from the sewer project over there with the chip pan to uh, work on a hot project for a buddy of mine. Um, his name is Adam, he owns Artisan Iron Co. He dropped these parts off just a couple of minutes ago and gave me a fresh new t-shirt to wear, so I appreciate that. Um, what we're working on are parts off of his new, newly acquired Moriseki lathe. So these are uh, really common lathes. Any kind of industrial shop that still has manual machines is, is gonna have one. Um, really, really good quality, but there are some design things that I'm questioning looking at these parts. So we've gotta do a couple of things. This shaft has gotten worn pretty badly. And this is the, when you crank the hand wheel to move the carriage. So this is what's turning to move the carriage along the bed. Uh, so this is worn pretty badly and is just designed to leak oil. It's kind of an interesting, interesting setup. So Adam welded that up. We'll uh, take, put this in the lathe then turn it back down to size, which is one and three eighths. And then uh, we're gonna have to bore this out and sleeve it with a bronze bushing that we're gonna make. And um, clean this face off and we'll leave a counter bore here for a double lip seal, I think is, uh, maybe it wasn't a double lip, but anyway, a seal to go on there. And then he's going to put a um, eighth inch thick piece of Teflon here as a wear surface, because the way it's been designed and the way it's, you know, gotten through life here is by uh, just, just wearing against these two surfaces. So here's the shaft. Again, kind of interesting on the, the design front. Um, this pitting is all from it just kind of riding in air and getting rusty. So I don't know why they wouldn't just make that continuously, continuously bearing. I, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. So anyway, it's pretty worn out, but I think we'll um, kiss that up and if there's some vo uh, little voids and stuff, that'll be all right because it's gonna be riding in a the new bronze sleeve. And then here's the hub. So yeah, you can see just how much, how much pitting there is. And they just had bearing surfaces front and back. And there's not really a, an obvious reason why not. I guess, you know, I don't know. So that oil hole doesn't land here and then spread oil out. It's, it comes to about right there. So strange. We will bore this out to one and three quarter and then match this uh, probably, I don't know, a three thou press. Uh, don't want that to move. And then we can bore, once it's pressed in there, we'll bore this to match our one and three eighths uh, with some clearance to match this guy. And then the last stop will be to clean up that face on the back of the hand wheel, which has also been worn against this guy. So anyway, that's our plan. Uh, we'll see what surprises happen along the way. Fortunately, the four jaw chuck was already in the lathe. So we're gonna put our little copper pads here to prevent marring up this surface. I guess, you know what? I was thinking of leaving it kind of hanging out, but it probably makes more sense to just put this piece all the way up against the top of the top of the jaws. That's unbelievable. It's almost 40 thou. That's craziness. So yeah, that it's more than 10 out on the face, but the jaws are all, you know, the Parallel surface to this is butted up against the jaws of the chuck. So yeah, that is, uh, that's some pretty bad wear. And un I guess it makes sense now that I'm thinking about it. 
uh, for that to be have been made into kind of an eccentric piece. So here's your one, your uh, zero mark. So this is stationary, bolted to the uh, apron of the machine. And so as you crank the handle and move the apron and carriage back and forth a bunch of times, it's probably going to wear more on the bottom than anywhere else. So I guess I shouldn't be that surprised that the bore is that crooked. But um, still pretty, uh, still pretty bad. Okay, there's our zero. Let's start off light just to make sure I didn't miss something. Gee, I wonder if it's really cast iron. Ugh, what a mess. did uh, hit our mark. We're two tenths under one inch 750, which is uh, just exactly where we wanted to be. So this part is done. We'll chamfer the, uh, the back of the bore and then measure it from that side just to make sure we're still on size all the way through. Uh, and then we can, uh, it doesn't, I guess, really matter. We can turn our shaft first and turn the weld off or we can bore our turn and bore our uh, bronze sleeve that's gonna go in here. And then clean up, so we're done with cast iron. So I think the next thing we're gonna do is the shaft and pinion gear. And Morisiki made this all one piece, which uh, was the expensive way to do it, but I'm sure that's better than uh, having a pressed pressed on gear. Um, what I'm gonna try to do here is just grab about a half inch on this back section, just to give me extra room on moving the tool around freely. And we're gonna bring our center in because it looks like we've got a good unmolested center here from the factory. And that'll help us support it. Pretty happy with where we're at. So about right here where there's no, doesn't look like there's any wear or distortion right here. Uh, we're less than a, a thousandth, all four jaws. So it's not completely round. The shaft isn't, but we did get it very close, and then of course we're in the center on the other side. 
So let's see what it looks like in rotation here. I'm happy with that. That looks pretty good. Taking it pretty easy here on the hard interruptions. Uh, just to make sure there's no nasty surprises. But so far, it seems perfectly, perfectly soft. So yeah, we've still got some I got some material to turn off and almost all of the low spots are gone. So, so far so good. So the original was uh, one inch, uh, 375, yeah, one and three eighths. Well, that is one inch 378. So it is just right, right above this. Reverse our feed direction. Okay, we are almost there. Yeah, 386. And then over on this side, we're at three seventy-eight. I think what we'll do is just do a little skin cut all the way across. I didn't realize it, but my left hand tool will fit there. So if we're trying to get to where we think it originally was, three seventy seven. So yeah, I mean it's it's a little oversized there. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll just do a very light, very light pass here. <laughs> 